Well, there is no dispute that this year's 4th of July celebrations will be a little different. Our beaches will be open for now, but other businesses like bars and breweries will be closed. County Supervisor Jim Desmond joining us now. Thanks for being here, Supervisor. Really appreciate it. Hey, Eric, thanks. Hey, we're starting to go the other way here, unfortunately. Uh, I mean, if things get worse, wh what else could be shutting down? I mean, we're talking about the hair salons, nail salons, barbers, hopefully not the in restaurant dining. What are we looking at? Well, I hope not. Uh, you know, r right now, uh, what the, the new health order just came out last night, and that health order included shutting down of wineries, distilleries, and breweries unless uh, they are serving food. And that includes, and you have to be sitting down and you're your alcoholic beverage has to be part of a meal or part of a meal a package or something to that effect. So uh, those got shut down, and unfortunately, I think that was too broad of a of an issue. But you know, we do have a few you know bad actors out there and people that aren't following the rules. And I think those specific entities and those uh, industry, you know, those entities should be shut down, but not a wide swath. I mean, the wineries. I've yet to see a you know a video of uh, people you know acting crazy in in uh, at a winery where there's not social distancing. I thought that was a little bit of a stretch. Well, and, and on that breweries. note, I don't mean to cut you off there, but on that note, wineries with tastings outside are still able to stay open. Yes, right? those are those are still allowed, but the ones not all of them have that outside capacity and, and have had very little notice. I think as far as. Um, uh, you know, maybe even preparing some outside areas, uh, it's, it's a little bit difficult, but you're right. Uh, it mostly includes food and wineries are the only one that have the, uh, the if they're outside, they can still uh, serve. What are you thinking about these percentages that we're seeing here? We've been averaging about 4% on all the tests, but we've been doing a lot more testing, right? We have been doing a lot more testing, and, we've been, and with that, we find a lot more t people testing positive, and we've been doing more focused testing. So when somebody tests positive, we are now able to go out and do that tracing. We've got hundreds of people now hired to do tracing to find out, okay, who did they contact with, who were they in touch with, and we're finding a lot more, getting a lot more people that they were in contact with. But about 4% has been a constant number throughout mm -hmm. the testing since we started. That 4% of, of people test positive, no matter how many tests we give. So roughly about 4% of the population has the virus. Just 85 or 90 percent of them don't show symptoms. Hmm. So it's actually what we're doing is counting those people right now. And our hospitalizations have ticked up a little bit, but it's still only one half of one percent of that four percent that potentially has the virus. So I still think we're in good shape. We still should we should be counting these people. We should be finding right. them so that we can make sure they isolate and they don't, you know, infect the, the most vulnerable population. But, you know, the, the shutting down, you know, I think should be more done surgically as opposed to done with a, you know, done with a scalpel instead of a grenade. Right, you know, right. I, I don't think the entire wine industry or brewery industry or even the bar industry is all at fault. A lot of them are following the rules. And, I, and, you know, there's a lot of confusion and frustration. Now. Let's talk a little bit about that tracing supervisor. Uh, News 8 viewers have been asking me about the spike that's traced to, to bar goers. They say, what about the protesters? Are they partly to blame? I know Supervisor Fletcher has said there's no proof that the protests led to any of the this, this spike in numbers here. What are your thoughts on all of that? Well, on the tracing, we do ask people, you know, where have you been? Who have you been in contact with? What have you been doing? And people, you know, I think there's been about 20 or 30 people have offered up and said, well, I was part of a protest or, or part of a demonstration, but, you know, even if even in the bars and the restaurants or even the, the demonstrations, it's hard to know where exactly somebody got the virus or got, you know, caught it. It's it's hard to know. So we are asking in the tracing, you know, what, what have you been up to? And some people have told us the uh, um, protests, but not, you know, it's really kind of hard to nail down to a, to a specific item or even a certain a specific business as to how they caught the virus. Have you been able to nail down whether the people that are in our San Diego County hospitals are in fact from our county or if they're from other areas? Well, there's absolutely uh, some from other areas uh, from Imperial uh, uh, County. We have been, uh, you know, getting in a handful of people a day. Uh, my understanding, I, I don't have the exact numbers, but we've been getting in, getting people in because their hospitals are more, are closer to capacity. We are still about 65% capacity, which is where we've we've held steady. Uh, so we're still, you know, we still have, we should help our neighbor, you know, in my mind, if we've got room, we got capacity, but our businesses should not be penalized due to the fact that we've got people from other areas, other county, uh, or from other counties, or even from across the border that are, that are coming here. So, you know, I, I, I want to be careful that we, you know, we go after the bad actors, but 
going after an entire sector, I think, to me, was uh, an overreach. All right, Supervisor Desmond, really appreciate your time. And those beaches here, they're going to stay open for now, right? Keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> yes. I think a lot of San Diegans are doing that. Thanks for your time here, okay. Supervisor. Always appreciate it. Thanks, Eric. Have a great day.